It's a Tuesday. Not many people here right now. So we're just going to kind of loop around here. Try to get as much as we can. Camera. So previously, years ago actually, I made a lot of different videos on the campus here. Pretty much covered the entire campus. That used to be the main entrance there. Looks like they got a little construction project over here. Not sure what that's all about. So most of what you see here is part of the old campus, which if you've been on campus anytime recently, a lot of it's been shut down and they are planning on demolishing these old buildings that you see up here. That is the old science building. And then way, way down that way, and we'll get to it later, is the creative arts building. That right up here is the old uh, library. That over there is the forum building. And most of these buildings are vacant. But that one right over there, that's a newer building. It's the science building. I've actually taken classes there. It's very nice. There's that new project. And here we have the iconic College of the Redwoods log sign. It's beautiful. I think I'm going to stop and take a picture of this. Might use it for the uh, thumb of the video. It's a little history about my time here at CR. Right after high school, I came here, lived in the dorms for a couple of years, took a pretty good variety of different courses, trying to figure out what it was that I really wanted to do. So after I knocked out my general ed, I transferred over to HSU and started working on a bachelor's in science, but I never did finish that, that program because I got distracted with other things. and ended up going to Maine eventually. But uh, during my time here, I took a lot of different courses with uh, emphasis on English and took every English course there was to take at CR. So I am uh, officially certified as an English tutor. But other than that, I don't really have a degree or anything like that, though it wouldn't take much for me to get one which I eventually plan to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to come back here to do it, HSU or at another school, but eventually I will get a degree, possibly in English, and then who knows from there. That's the gym you see up ahead here. That is the bus stop, and then you have student services building here. These are all newer, and the theater. This is the old gym, basketball courts. I don't even know if they still use this place. With the uh, pandemic and everything, I just don't know if that's even happening at any college these days. And way over there are the dorms, and we'll go up there in just a minute. Just to look around some of the older buildings here. Yeah, this is all like the athletics department, all these buildings, including this one here, that is the field house. And then way over there is the football stadium. And they got all oh, that's this fenced off. I think that used to be a soccer field. And then up here is the baseball field.
I haven't been out here in years, so this is really, I don't know, kind of nostalgic to me because I had spent so much time here. I wasted a lot of time here too. <laughs> uh, that's all maintenance in the gardening department up there. And they have a new theater too, which is the, in the student services building over there. And there are the dorms. I don't miss living here, that's for sure. I don't know what these buildings are. AR, I think that's like Academy of the Redwoods. Yeah, you can't really drive down there, but just a quick drive-by of the dorms. I was actually an RA here at one point for, uh, for a year. I actually really enjoyed that. I got to learn a lot doing that. An AR is the, uh, I mean, uh, an RA is a residential assistant, so I would make rounds and make sure nobody was doing anything stupid. So what we're going to do now is we are going to kind of go through the back way and make our way over to Creative Arts, which is on the complete other side of campus. Those must be the AR students. There's the bus stop and that's the, the library. And this is like all nursing and automotive over here. And here are those dorms again. And we are going to cross down here. There's another AR building, Academy of the Redwoods. That's one thing they didn't really have or they were actually just getting the program going when I was here, but it would have been so nice to be able to still be in high school and work on a college degree at the same time. It's so cool that they have that option now because they didn't when I got out of high school and started going to school here. Humanities department straight up ahead in that large building you see up there. And that's more of the nursing and construction buildings. Approaching the bookstore and cafeteria, kind of right over here. And from, uh, I actually filmed the cafeteria. That was one of my last videos I did a few years back. And they had actually just closed and were using the bookstore as kind of like this little uh, cafe type of thing. And that is one of the duck ponds over there. There's the science building up ahead. And that is the old library that's been condemned for many, many years, kind of where they're doing all the construction. And you have the science building kind of over on that side over there. Everything fenced off. All of this has been shut down for like close to a decade now, if not longer. All right, so now we are heading down to the Creative Arts Building, which is one of my favorite parts of campus. And there's the pond. It really is a pretty campus. I enjoyed studying here. I had nothing but fond memories of going to school here. So here we are, Creative Arts. Looking pretty quiet these days. And 
then up here is uh, natural sciences and the gardens. It's really pretty. They've done they've done all kinds of work up here since I left, and it did not used to look like this. Botanical gardens. That's what these are. Wow. Good work. You could join, volunteer, and donate. This pretty much reaches the end of the campus and puts us back out onto the main road. But I just wanted to get the campus on camera. It's been a few years and I know a lot has changed. But uh, thanks for joining me guys. And if you've been to CR, let me know what your experiences were like. It'd be nice to hear from some of the students that used to come here, so. I'll see you guys later.